Hello, it's Wednesday night. That means it's time for another Facebook Live. I have the um, Razorback game on in the background and muted so I can check it every once in a while. It's a big game, but I didn't want to miss out on sharing some stamping with you tonight. So this is the card we're going to make. Um, it is pairing <clears throat> the, I'll just show you real quick, Sunny Splash. This is a new stamp set um, in the annual catalog. A bunch of cute swimsuits and then some fun um, sentiments. And I checked and this bundle is already sold out. It was in the mini catalog with these leaves. But, I mean, I just used a leaf in the background. You could use anything and the sentiment is from that. But again, you could use anything for that. So don't let that deter you from making something like this. Um, I will post on my blog the dimensions to this when we're done with the live. So you can find them there after this. And last week we made this fun butterfly card, which was again pairing old and new. So it was pairing some masks. That's how we made these background butterflies. And then the dies are from a new best butterfly set. So at the end, I will show you, or I'll tell you who won this. And then I also have some swaps that I received that I was going to share with you at the end. So um, comment on this video and you'll be in the drawing for this card next week. And I think that's all I need to tell you. We'll get started. So let's do our stamping first. I have just a scratch um, piece of cardstock because for me it was easier to stamp the swimming suit, then die cut it, and then stamp the sentiment. So that's what we're going to do. So I've got Calypso Coral. on my finger already. So I'm just going to stamp that here on my cardstock. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, that's all of the Calypso Coral. And I picked up Calypso Coral because it's in the designer series paper that we're using. When I checked, the paper is still available. It's the stamp set and the dies for the artfully layered that are not. All right, so we're going to use, this is called the Stylish Shapes dies, and they are one of my favorites, my new go-to. And we're going to use this second to the largest circle. Oh, I may have to cut my cardstock down because I just brought the baby, the baby mini cut and emboss machine, or the mini cut and emboss machine. Hey, Allison. So let me, I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit because I don't think it will, yeah, it's too big to go through there. <clears throat> the die will, but the paper is too big. All right. There we go. My plates. Well, there. So I want this to be offset a little bit. Yeah, you can see. So I can put my sentiment. So I want my swimsuit to be on the left side. Put my other plate on. Wait, maybe I have one too many. Hang on one moment. I don't use this one as, oh, I don't need that one. That's my embossing plate. Let's try this again. This is what I need. I think. I use my big one because it just sits on this table right beside me. But this little one is sure handy for videos and classes and stuff. There we go. That's much better. If you're ever <clears throat> trying to die cut or emboss something and it doesn't go through, that means you probably don't have the sandwich right. So don't try and force it. Okay. Let me put this stuff away. Out of the way. And now we have our cute little swimsuit. And I'm going to put my die away so I don't lose it. I would be very sad if I lost one of those. All right, and then I don't know if you notice, I'm gonna get my other pieces out of here. On the card, if I open it, if you can see it better, one of the dies in this um, die set just cuts little kind of crosshatch things. So it doesn't cut out 
anything that just kind of makes little cuts into it. You can kind of see it there, I think. So I just put those in the corner just because I thought that would add a little extra. We do have one more thing to stamp though. Let's do our sentiment. And I just used the hay there from <clears throat> the Artfully Layered, but you could use anything. And it's gonna go over your swimsuit, but that's okay. Evening Evergreen is a um, really dark color. Hey, Cassandra, welcome. There we go. All right, so that is all of our stamping. We're ready to start putting this together. So I also have a piece of white that I kept for the inside. I, th I think I mentioned, um, but I will have all the dimensions on my blog after this. Yes, I did mention them. So you can go find all the dimensions there. It'll take me a couple minutes to get it up after we're done with the live, but. All right, so we'll put this on the inside because it's kind of hard to write on that really dark evening evergreen. You could do it with a chalk, like a white chalk marker, but it's easier just to put a piece of white in there. And then the um, designer series paper and just put it on flat and I'm going to put it up towards the top and towards the left. And then I've got my, this is old olive. This was evening evergreen. I can't remember if I told you that. And then this is old olive. So I'm just going to put some glue. Try not to put too much on here because it will make a mess. And I'm not going to put it all the way up because I like it when the um, when the fronds get to just kind of, you know, move a little bit. So we'll put that. We're going to put it about like that, I think. And with this liquid glue, you just have to hold it for a minute till it sets, which is nice if you want to move it around. You have a little bit of time to move it around. And then I'm going to put dimensionals. This is really a quick and easy card. So I'll let you all get back to baseball. So some dimensionals. And we'll put that about here. So you wanna put it over the bottom of that. And then I decided, where did they go? Here they are. That we needed some bling. So these are the, sorry, let me take it out of the plastic. The 2021-2023 in color, opal round. So these are last year's new in colors. And I'm using, uh oh I dropped my take your pick tool. I am using the um, evening evergreen ones. So I will use, we may use two big ones on this one just because we have so many of them. And I just put them all on the, um, um, on the sentiment circle just because I knew they would show up better there. If I put them on the dark background, they wouldn't show up in that, they wouldn't show up too much. And there you go, that's it. That's our card for tonight. So it was super quick and easy. Again, if you comment on this video, um, then you will be in the drawing next week to win this card. All right, well, let me show you. Okay, first, before I forget, I will tell you who won the butterfly card. I drew right before this video, and it was Nancy, so I will get that sent to her. And then I wanted to show you some of the swaps. So I was in a group that was doing what they call a catalog case swap. So this is, we often do this with new catalogs. And you take one of the... Um, you take a stamp set and you get to say, I, I would like to do one, one of these three. And then you copy something exactly from the catalog for that stamp set. So these are the ones that I received. This is from Gail. So this is the bottled happiness that she copied. Isn't that pretty? Those colors are gorgeous. And this is from Kat. This is Sweet Songbird. Songbird. Isn't that cute? And that is a little sign. It, you might not have realized what that was in the stamp set, but it's made to be. A, it's meant to be a little sign. You can use it for whatever you want. Elizabeth made this one. I don't remember the name of. I think it was this actually. And this is one of those reverse stamps. So it stamped all of the green around it. 
and left the letters white so that's stamped on white paper. And then I think that is a, a returning set. Isn't that cute? And this is the new pig one. And I didn't, I should have gone through and put the names on all the backs of them. This was from Crystal. She made this one. Isn't that isn't cute? We can always use pigs here in Arkansas since that's what our mascot is, the Razorback. This is from Khaki. So this is the Rays of Light. And this is um, vellum on top of it. So she stamped the Rays of Light on the cardstock underneath and then stamped the sentiment on vellum. So you have to be really careful when you're doing that because vellum is very slippery. And so you have to just put it down, pick it up, and then wait. Just leave it alone for a while. Don't even try and touch it. Isn't that fun? And these cute sequins on there too. And this is He's All That. This was from Kay. This paper is really neat. And then it has these fun dies that go with it and some nice metallic sentiments. Those might be, or not sentiments, embellishments. Those might be hard to see. And then this fun woven ribbon. That's really fun. I like the tearing on it too. And this is Brood For You. Sean made this one. Trying to make sure. Notif there we go. Notifications were coming up on my phone. I couldn't tell if you could see the whole thing or not. <laughs> this, I think, is the, yeah, hostess set. Sit, stay, relax, and patience made this one. And it's fun to have to be in a swap like this because I can't buy every stamp set that's in the catalog. So this way I have some swaps with stamp sets I don't have because a lot of those I don't have. This one I do have. This is Wisteria. Um, there's not a name on it, so I don't remember who made this one. That's a pretty one. Wisteria Wonder, maybe? This is Shauna. This one was a lot of work. She had to emboss. So these are the layering dioramas. And then this is, I can't remember if it's window sheet, maybe? I think, yeah, it's window sheet. And so then she just put, um... Um, Versamark on the window sheet and then embossed it with clear, but it makes it look like water. I mean, it just kind of glares for you, but in person, it, it's got little texture to it and it looks like water. It's really cool. And I don't remember what this stamp set is. And this one is, this one is from Sherry and this is Nature's Prints. And it's gorgeous. And this is the, um, embossing folder and she's just put some white ink on it after it's been embossed so it just highlights those fern leaves. Isn't that gorgeous? All right so those are all the swaps I got with the catalog case swap which like I said is always a lot of fun to be a part of. All right next week I might have to show you some more swaps that's kind of fun to share those with you. Oh Betty we're just finishing up we'll have to watch the replay. All right so this is what we made tonight. And again, go ahead and comment on this video, and I will um, draw a name next week. And I should be back live next week. I don't know what we'll be making yet, but it will be something fun. All right, thank you. I will see you next week. Bye. Go Hogs.